High input gully erosion control methods are used to protect crucial infrastructure or production areas that are likely to be destroyed or rendered unusable if erosion occurs or worsens. High input gully erosion control methods include diversion banks, contour banks, drop structures, rock chutes, dam bywashes and level banks. Level banks are used to uh, rehabilitate erosion in all sorts of circumstances. The banks are designed so that they're a certain distance apart on a ridge and to trap all the water. And the water and silt that deposits between the banks is used to establish grasses and the water from the, that accumulates runs out each end where there's a, a level sills on a safe disposal area which will in turn grass up as well. This is a good example of a freshly constructed level bank. This one has been designed to trap all the runoff and sediment coming from the catchment area above it and the runoff and sediment in, that's held in the channel of the bank will certainly help vegetation get established and, and thrive. A level sill acts as a spillway allowing runoff to flow at an even depth from an erosion control structure like at the end of a diversion bank. The sill converts channelised water to a sheet flow, minimising the threat of erosion at the structure outlet. Diversion banks are used to um, take the water away from a gully head so that it can be filled in and grassed up. When you're looking to site a diversion bank at the top of a gully erosion, the, you have to have a very safe outlet for the water. A safe disposal or discharge area is a well-grassed area that is not prone to erosion ideally on a ridge. When runoff from an erosion control structure enters a safe disposal area, it spreads and slows down, increasing the chance of infiltration. A contour bank is a bank across the hill slope with a slight grade to one end so that it collects any runoff and delivers that runoff to the waterway in a control fashion. A contour bank layout can be expensive to construct, therefore it's essential that you get appropriate advice from a suitably qualified technical advisor to do your plan before you start implementing any works at all. Because soil erosion is a continuous process, it is important that regular maintenance is carried out on your contour banks. This maintains the capacity of that bank to design specifications and reduces the chances of overtopping. To prevent erosion structures failing, they must be designed to safely cope with the volume and velocity of water that can travel through the catchment and gully at peak flow. To calculate these figures for your catchment, watch the third video in this educational series. Many people will use the head of a bad gully to put uh, rubbish in, household rubbish and the like, thinking that that's going to rehabilitate their gully head. This does not work, it's been proved over the generations. One of the options to rehabilitate it is to use a rock chute. This is usually used when, the, when it's quite uh, deep and wide and there's a lot of water involved. A rock chute is battering down the gully head and then putting rock all over that to uh, make sure that it doesn't go further up the gully in future. When you're building a rock chute, it's very important to have an energy dissipator on the bottom side of it. The energy dissipator is designed to take the energy out of the water as it comes off the fast chute and to slow it, the water down, spread it across a level sill and then let it go gently at a low velocity down the creek so there's no erosive forces left in there. The energy dissipator is designed to pond water up to about a foot deep and then it takes the water going into water, takes the energy out and then it moves down the creek steadily and doesn't erode. When suitable rock material is not available to build a rock chute, a drop structure can be built to rehabilitate eroded gully heads. Drop structures can be fashioned most economically out of geofabric, which creates a stable waterfall stopping the advancement of a gully head. Dams can be used to control gully head erosion by drowning them out. However, when constructing a dam, it is important that an adequate bywash is constructed at the same time. When constructing a dam, it is a good idea to match the capacity of the dam to the catchment size. A rule of thumb is that the capacity should be about 10 to 15 per cent of the annual rainfall times the catchment area in hectares. A crucial part of a dam construction is the bywash. It should be wide enough so that flows 
through there are shallow and slow so that erosion doesn't occur. The bywash width should be two times the square root of the catchment area in hectares. Managing land to prevent soil erosion is an interactive, continuous learning process. But one important factor is monitoring the structure that you put in or whatever you put in, particularly after large runoff events, inspect the site and if there's any damage, carry out your repairs immediately, otherwise you might get in worse trouble later on. The key principles to follow when managing all soil erosion sites are, one, maintaining ground cover all year round, and two, reducing the erosive power of flowing water using vegetation or well-designed structures. Interested in learning more? Landholders located in the Fitzroy or Burnett Mary regions are welcome to collect a gully erosion manual from FBA or BMRG. The manual includes detailed information to help you adopt best practice prevention and rehabilitation methods on your property.